This short video is to demonstrate the reverse tackling technique for a dry. It is my preferred method for doing both dry flies, hackled ones, and wets. The hook is a Chemco 102Y in a size 15. The thread is Benecci in black, and the hackle I'll use is a Grizzly. Mostly when hackled, dries are tied. The hackle is tied in as the last material round the sort of the one-third shank position and then wrapped forward towards the eye where it's then tied down. One also has to tie down the hackle itself which adds bulk to the head. In my case, for the reverse hackling technique it will be the first material tied on. The hackle is tied in at the eye with the dull side facing down. And then left. The waist, the thread and the butt are trimmed away. Then simply wrap the thread to the end of the shank to accept the tail material. I'll quickly wrap, whip through this fly because it's the hackling technique that's the focus. On a large hackle simply pull some barbs perpendicular for the tail to even the tips. Tail will be about shank length. Angled slightly down and on my side and then the torque of the thread We'll roll it on top. Tie down to make an even underbody. Then back towards the bend. A little bit of dubbing supplied to form a slender, tapered body. Make a clean start and then taper the body just ever so slightly. I next clip on some hackle pliers and start to wrap the hackle in touching turns towards the waiting thread. Catch it with the thread and cut through the hackle at quite a steep angle to the front. The longest barb on the hackle is now facing the eye on the front. There is no material to tie down, only the three turn whip finish. As the thread is crossing the hackle stem, there is some reinforcement there as well. Step away the tip. That completes a reversed hackled dry.